Deep within the bamboo forests, nestled in caves two to three meters deep, there lives a creature that spends its days nibbling on delicious bamboo. But how did they become a delicacy on dining tables in China? Is there a special reason that makes them so appealing? How does China breed thousands of bamboo rats, achieving an annual output of 2.5 million? Right now, Let's uncover why people go to such great lengths to hunt down this bamboo rat. After capturing the plump, healthy bamboo rats for breeding, farmers release them into enclosed pens. Each bamboo rat family is housed in its own pen, with each pen spacious enough to allow them room to move around comfortably. To care for the young bamboo, in the adult stage, from sixteen weeks onward. Bamboo rats need a fiber-rich diet to maintain their health, and bamboo shoots are their favorite food. The hard bamboo stems help bamboo rats grind their teeth, keeping them sharp and preventing overgrowth. The minerals in bamboo also support bone and muscle development, which is especially beneficial for adult rats. Only healthy rats, showing no signs of illness, are selected for harvest. Considered a delicacy and highly sought after, many are willing to pay a premium for bamboo rats, though they're not always readily available on the market.
Adapted to cooler temperatures, these isolated farms deep in the mountains pose an added barrier for consumers seeking this special delicacy. There are many ways to prepare this animal as a dish. The most popular method is grilled bamboo rat, typically marinated with spices like garlic, chili, lemongrass, and fish sauce. And so our journey exploring this fascinating creature comes to an end. From its wild lifestyle and rapid reproduction to its high nutritional value in specialty dishes, the bamboo rat offers many interesting and beneficial aspects. Feel free to share your thoughts about this remarkable animal. Goodbye and see you on our next adventure. One of the most popular and beloved dishes in the world. The consumption of pasta reaches hundreds of millions of tons each year, rising to become one of the essential foods in many countries. There are many different types of pasta, but spaghetti has the highest consumption. Right now, follow me to explore the production process of this special type of pasta. Semolina flour is placed into large mixers along with water, where specialized mixers with powerful paddles operate continuously. This mixing process takes about 10 to 15 minutes until the mixture becomes smooth, uniform, and reaches a certain level of elasticity. A premium variation of spaghetti uses eggs during the dough mixing process. Once the dough is ready for the extrusion process, the automated robotic system will come in to load the extrusion machine with the dough.
The dough is pressed through a special extrusion mold, which has small holes specifically designed for spaghetti strands. As the dough is pushed through the mold, it forms long, thin, and uniform spaghetti strands. Here, conveyor belts filled with pasta move in sequence to the packaging area before being released to the market. Machines handle the process of feeding the bundles of pasta into the automated packaging system. One of the essential steps is sealing the pasta package, where the printer will print information such as the production date, expiration date, batch number, and barcode on the packaging. The large-scale pasta production process today is a harmonious blend of traditional techniques and modern technology. This helps pasta become a product that retains its traditional charm while meeting modern consumption demands. On the market today, there are hundreds of different types of pasta, such as spaghetti, fettuccine, penne, or macaroni. So next time you choose pasta to cook, try switching things up and exploring different types to find your favorite one. If you want to witness the fascinating intricacies of these production lines and delve deeper how these factories work, then you can watch our next videos here.